Eight years have passed since the Yazidi genocide. August 3rd is the anniversary of the Yazidi genocide in Shangal, committed by ISIS terrorists. On August 3rd, 2014, the army of the ISIS terrorist group, armed with modern military equipment, attacked the Yazidis of Shangal. A big surprise for the Yazidis was the fact that the terrorists were actively supported by the local Arab population, which, in difficult days for them, was kindly received by the Yazidis and lived in peace with them in the neighborhood. The fear of death in front of a powerful army of anti-ISIS thugs forced the Kurdish Peshmerga units called to protect the region to flee. Since Iraqi law prohibited civilians from owning firearms, the Yazidis found themselves facing death. The peaceful and unarmed population of Shangal could not resist properly, as a result they were subjected to genocide. Fanatics with barbaric pleasure committed cruel mass murders of people, men were brutally killed in front of their families. Women and children were driven into captivity, boys were recruited into their units and made suicide bombers out of them and women and very young girls were sold as slaves and subsequently they were brutally raped. The victims of the occupation of Iraq by jihadists were thousands of Yazidis, completely cut off from the outside world. Those who managed to escape were surrounded by Islamic State fighters in the Shangal Mountains, the highest region of which is east of the Syrian border and west of Mosul in northern Iraq. In total, up to 50,000 Yazidis were hiding in the mountains. They went to the shrine located there in the hope of protection. Many of these refugees died of hunger and thirst, of which at least 40 were children. As a result, about 400,000 Yazidis managed to leave the region and they became refugees. For the first time in their history, the Yazidis left the territories where they lived for centuries. On August 11, 2014, the UN Security Council adopted a declaration condemning the persecution of minorities in Iraq and warned that these actions are a crime against humanity. So far, according to a statement of the kidnapped Yazid Rescue Office, the number of mass graves discovered in Shangal has reached more than it I2 to date, in addition to dozens of individual graves. Unfortunately, this is not the first genocide of the Yazidi people, there are still seven Thai two facts of ethnic cleansing in the history of the Yazidis, but we hope that the genocide of 2014 is the last one.